Alright, hey everyone, welcome back to the Book of Backlog, where I'm tracking my progress every week on two games I'm working on for the series. Last time was the very first episode, so I chose what games I was going to try and work on. Those games were Mucha Lucha Masqueritas of the Lost Code on Game Boy Advance, as well as Harvest Moon Another Wonderful Life on the GameCube. So, my thought process was Harvest Moon would obviously take a long time to go through. There's several years to the game and there's four seasons within each year so it will take a while just to get through regardless of how dedicated I am to the game. Mucha Lucha, my thought was it would be a quick game to get through hopefully and here we are. Harvest Moon Another Wonderful Life. Making my way through this, uh, I actually am on to summer day one at the very end of the last time I played. That's what I got up to and in, in case you didn't know in Harvest Moon in this Harvest Moon at least I think some are different but in this Harvest Moon uh, spring was 10 days long so it's a little weird but yeah so I've gone through about 10 days now and you know just making my progress there honestly in Harvest Moon games I find a lot of the times the male choices are often really weird they're really weird people uh, obviously I always prefer to play as a male anyway but for this I just decided to go for Gustafa because he is we he's the weirdest one but he's also the most interesting one so I figured to go with him so I've just been working on that been been planting crops taking care of animals buying more animals doing whatever I can within that time to to work up as much money and make as much progress in that regard it's been interesting because in this game which I didn't really know about there as far as I knew of the only difference from a wonderful life to another wonderful life was that you play as the female character but I've since found out that there's the whole training thing you can do with your dog there's stats uh, ST SP and AP for strength spirit and appetite which is really interesting. Kind of annoying, honestly. I don't like the whole micromanaging thing with these kinds of games. I'd like to be able to just enjoy, enjoy my own pace, but the stuff like the stamina bar in Harvest Moon has always been something I'm not a fan of because it really limits what you can do on any given day. It kind of slows down the pace even more. So that's one thing I don't like. But yeah, I'm just making my way through. You know how it is. It will be a long time for me to get get through that game. Mucha Lucha. I'm done. I beat it. <laughs> the first day I went in to play it, I looked through. You could actually see all the levels ahead of time for some reason. And you can see there's only four. There was like four episodes. And there was four parts within each episode. Something like that. And <laughs> I quickly found out that this game is awful. It's just really bad. It's a beat em up style game, a 2D side scrolling, but it's really awful. It's just, you literally stand there the whole time, you're just mashing the button. Again, it's kind of painful after a while. There's no real strategy to it, there's like a punch and a kick button, and that's about it. As far as I knew, there was like these different moves you got, but I didn't even know how to use them, and I never needed to use them. I just button mashing. Just you get the characters, the enemies into a corner, you butt mash them. They're all more or less the same enemies. Just like a couple of different designs, but they don't really do much. <laughs> and um, the bosses I found were often easier than going through the levels because they were less tedious. You could get through them quicker, which is ironic. And then, uh, yeah, it's just really bad. It just became a thing where I had like a podcast or a YouTube video on and I would just be sitting there mashing buttons, tearing through the enemies. That was really quick to get through only. It was like the second day of me playing it, I was done. So, with that being said, <laughs> my first game is beat. My whole thing in the first video, I was like, in the first episode, I wanted to at least make it to where I could beat a game. And I did that. <laughs> But that's pretty. That's a pretty weak goal now. So what I'm gonna do is randomize to get a list of five again and go from there. Oh, I can cross this off my list as well. 
crossing Mucha Lucha off the list. <laughs> Glad to see it go. Alright. Okay, I've randomized my choices, uh, my choice of five, and... Alright, let's go, let's go through it. First one is Pikmin 3 on Wii U. And that's interesting because I've actually... There was a backlog challenge I did on PGRF, which was a forum I'm actually an admin on. There was a whole thing called the Gentleman's Challenge, which is similar to this. It's the goal of beating more games, working on your backlogs, except you'd give your list to a partner and they would give you your game that you're supposed to do. And I got Pikmin 3 at one point, and then I made some progress, but I didn't end up beating it. So that would be an interesting little bit of <laughs> redemption, I guess. Second one is Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People on WiiWare. So this is actually episode 2. I beat episode 1 and I have episode 2. If I did this one, I think I would just buy the rest. There's 5 episodes and I'd beat that because for stuff like Telltale Games and, and games like that, I, I have the whole thing counted as one, so it only seems right. Next we have The Godfather of the Game on PlayStation 2. Interesting. I don't even know what that plays like, honestly. Batman Arkham Asylum on Xbox 360, which I've, I've tried going through a couple of times. It is a great game, but I don't know. I just never stuck with it. I could definitely see myself beating it, though, when, if I have this motivation. And lastly, Rock Band Unplugged on the PSP. <laughs> which is interesting. Honestly, I really have barely played my PSP. It was a gift I got for, I believe, a birthday or a Christmas a couple years back. I really did want one, and I have a few games for it, just have never beaten one. That makes, really draws me to Rock Band Unplugged. The thing is, I know that's a really easy one, it'll be a really easy cop-out win again, that I'll probably have beaten by the next episode, I believe I could say that yet again. Uh, that being said, that would be cool to have another game under my belt. I'll be sticking to the trend of easy game along with the long harvest moon. Whew. That's a tough decision though because honestly any of those I could see myself beating if I, I stuck if I chose it. Hmm. And uh, none of them seem like an awful time so I don't know. Honestly just to give my PSP some love I think I'll do Rock Band Unplugged. <laughs> I don't know what that plays like on a PSP. I imagine it can't be near as fun as playing on the instruments, but uh, I'm assuming it'll be really easy to beat. So <laughs> Honestly, I'd be surprised if I don't have a beat by next episode. I'll probably play it right after this, but I think it's only fair. I'd like to give my PSP some love because I really haven't shown it much love at all. Now... Let me know what you think. Honestly, I'm thinking maybe next time I beat a game, which could very well be next episode again, maybe I'll try something new where I make a poll on the PGRF Facebook page or something and have people vote on what game I should play out of the, the gaming community we have there. Uh... That might be interesting to do, or maybe do something random, like call a friend, ask them what game I should play out of the randomized list. Who knows? Maybe I'll have all those as options, and then randomly decide each time I beat a game which one I'm going to go with. I thought that would be cool, but I don't know if that would be complicating it too much. I just, I think it would be fun. Cool. Well, that's it, guys. Beat Mucha Lucha. Making my way through Harvest Moon. No signs of stopping on that. Uh, but that will always be a constant thing going on, I suppose. And Rock Band Unplug, I'm ready to knock that one out. I really am. Hopefully, I don't have any problems with it because I haven't tested it out, I don't believe. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and checking out my progress here in the Book of Backlog. You know, I've only scratched the surface. I've beaten, I've beaten now 1 out of 386. Hopefully I can make that 2. Look at this. Oh, look at this list. Look at this list. Look at this list. Aye, aye. Alright. Thanks for watching. Love you.
Bye. Bye, bye, bye.